Hey yo, duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another OBS tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Add in cheeky little waveform visualizers to your stream with this super easy plugin. Let's just get straight into it. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Owned Pro is your all-in-one solution for stream management. The free plan is packed full of features such as copyright free music, which is crazy. With the pro plan, you can get unlimited access to 600 plus overlays, which install directly into OBS with a single click. It's super easy. You can even save yourself 50% off using my code Andy50Pro and each purchase will support the channel as well. I'll leave all the links down in the description. Thank you very much, duckies. Right, so this is super easy to do. We're just going to download the waveform plugin from Fandel. Them. Fun does, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butchered your name. And we're just going to go up to the top right and press go to download. It's going to take us over to the GitHub page uh, where it's going to tell us all the different bits of information and the requirements that you need. If you run this via the exe file, the actual installer, it will make sure you've got the redistributable already installed. So don't worry about anything like that. Just get yourself downloaded on the 64 bit. That's probably the one that you're using. Get that downloaded it's only 25 megabytes so it won't take too long it's going to say it's a dangerous file it definitely isn't say you want to keep it and open it up and it'll just be protected by windows blah 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 blah. you know how it is windows protected your pc because it's so cool we're going to run it anyway we're not bothered and it's going to just go through the typical like install steps we agree to the agreements obviously because that's just how it is and this should be the install directory uh, of your OBS. If you know that yours is in a different location, maybe program files 86, then just press browse and obviously find your location on there. Press next. And then obviously, if you want the uninstaller as well, press next again. And that is it. It'll all install. It will then ask you, especially if you've installed the redistributables with it, it'll ask you if you want to restart. I would recommend restarting your computer. Once you've done all that, we can jump into OBS. So right now I've got one audio source to save me adding it. So I'm using an application audio output capture. If you want to know what that is, basically I can capture any specific audio. So from this just here, which is this handsome chap and some other handsome chap playing some music, it's being picked up in OBS as one single source. I've done a video on that. I'll leave that up here and also in the comments below description not comments ah yeah yeah and that is basically all we're doing there we're going to right click and go to add and you should see waveform visualizer if you've not got that it means you've not installed it correctly so jump back a step and try and install it again maybe try a different location where obs is because like i say it's in program files and program files 86 it can get pretty confusing so we're going to click on waveform visualizer we can give it a name, everything like we normally do. I'm just going to leave it as that and press OK. And then now we've got a ton of different settings. Nothing's going to happen straight away because we need to select the audio source we want it to, to get with. So in my example at the beginning of the video, I use my microphone. So you can set this up to any source that you like. So I'm going to choose the audio source in OBS and it's the application audio output capture that I'm doing just here. So we can see the music now is being played and we've got the... Uh, the uh, waveform on there straight away so we've got different display modes so i actually really like the bars really traditional um spread across all the eq all that jazz uh, you got stepped bars as well for even that retro look uh, so i don't want to go too much into all of these different details because basically it just changes the look of it don't worry about the technical names of each one of these things like you'll see all these things down here like temporal smoothing don't worry about it. Just mess about with it until you find something cool that you like. So I'm going to put it back onto bars for now. We can change the video width. So my canvas, I want it to go full length. So that's 1920. Uh, we can change the height as well if we want to. We also have all this frequency scaling for logarithmic. I usually leave that ticked. But again, all these things just change the look of it. So don't get bogged down with what it means. Uh, channel mode, this one's quite important, whether or not you want it in stereo, like you saw in my uh, little intro, or you want it in mono, and it's just kind of, you could leave it at the bottom of your scene like that, and it can just add another little flair to your uh, to your stream there, depending on what audio you got going. Uh, we also have got different things down the bottom, how we want it to uh, animate, pretty much. That's basically what it all means. Uh, the gravity, if I turn the gravity up, you'll see... 
they're kind of a bit smoother when they're going up and down the bars. Like if I turn this all the way up to the top, you'll see it's super, super smooth and slow. And then bring it all the way down and it's very like jumpy. So it's very like precise um, to, to the different um, EQ levels. So we can do fast peaks as well. Again, these all just depend what you want it to look like. Just fiddle about with it, okay? Uh, low cutoff. And this is basically your bass. So if you turn that up, it's not going to pick up that bass. Or you want a high cut off, it's not going to pick up the highs. So we're only picking up the mid range. Similar to how you'd use like a compressor on your, vo uh, on your voice, uh, your microphone, or you'd use an EQ, something like that. You can do your cut offs. So it depends on what you're listening to. If it's a lot of better music, you might want to like make sure you've got the bass on there really well. Uh, and then one that I love is the render mode. And this is the gradient. So we can change these to gradients. So we can change the color. We can change it to green if we want to. And we can also change the, the gradient color. So you can get some really nice cool effects to get it to match your stream's layout. There's also, when you go to display mode and go to curve, there is an option at the bottom for line, which I think looks super cool. So this shows up like that on your stream. And I think, I think it's just, I don't know. I just find something cool about it. Something that I was thinking about doing, and I want this to spark a little bit of creativity for you, is imagine you've got like a, a picture of a robot on your screen and you want, you want to like do a robot voice. So you're using like replugs for a free voice effect. And then you stick this in the robot's mouth and as you're talking down the microphone, it'll look like, the, or you could put it into stereo, it'll actually look like the robot is talking. It'll be like, blah, 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 I am a robot, blah, 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 all that jazz. So it looked really cool. So hopefully that kind of inspires you on something that you could use this for, other than just doing it as an EQ. There, there's cool things that you can do with it. Let me know if you come up with any ideas in the comments below. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, bang it in the comments. And if you want to support me, I want to say thanks to all these people just here because they help me make this content full time for you. So if you do want to join from like one pound a month, it massively helps me. All right, guys. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about crazy OBS stuff, then check out some of these videos just here. All right. See you next time. Big Rock of the Stone.